How can we cope with the fear of death? There is no way to cope with the fear of death. There is no way to just settle with it. Find some temporary solution or cover it up using some intelligent argument. Fear of death is real and useful at multiple levels in multiple dimensions. Fear of death is naturally useful in the world. It's useful for the body. It's useful for the mind. But in the inner dimension, in your longing for understanding, in your quest for truth, it becomes your primary motivation. It is because you fear death, you want to know what life is. Instead of trying to cope with the fear of death, the better way to deal with it is to try and understand. To get to the root of this fear. Fear of death is the foundational fear. All other fears are simply derivatives of this fear. It is because you fear dying, you fear life, you fear what's happening around you, you fear making mistakes, you fear primarily because you fear death. Easiest way to understand this is for a moment imagine that there is no such thing as death. There is no concept of end of life. Your body exists forever. Your mind exists forever. How would that change your understanding of life? Would you have fear about anything at all? If fundamentally nothing can be done to you as a living being, your body cannot be destroyed, your mind cannot be destroyed. Imagine there is this invisible shield that automatically protects you wherever you go. Things come very close, but they cannot pass this invisible barrier. You are protected because you cannot die. There is no such thing as death. Would you still have fear? It is impossible. Fear of rejection, it can be traced back ultimately to fear of death. Fear of failure goes back to death. Fear of losing something goes back to death. All other fears are different ways of experiencing the fear of death. It all depends on what you are attached to in that moment when you are experiencing that fear. If you are attached to your self-image, then fear of rejection, fear of ridicule will manifest itself as the fear of the death of your self-image. Why do we fear change? It is the fear of the death of the familiar. Why do we long for certainty? Why do we hate uncertainty? It's because 
uncertainty is the fear of the death of certainty, something familiar. You are losing something you have become accustomed to. There cannot be a definition of fear that does not include death. All fears are some form of experiencing death in some dimension, at the mental level, at the physical level, at the spiritual level. Now, if fear of death is so intricately tied to all your fears, then the only fear you need to understand and resolve is the fear of death. And the worst thing we can do with it is try to cope with it. Now, when we try to cope with fear of death, we create unnecessary deviations and belief systems that give us a feeling of comfort, but in reality, they have become an obstacle for the understanding of life. Now, how do we see this manifested in the world? There is not a single religion that does not provide some kind of solution to this fear. The world is mostly religious because of this reason. Because fear of death is real. And you want to know if there is someone, if there is something that is taking care of this aspect. What happens to you after you die? What are the consequences? Now, every form of prayer is a manifestation of this fear of death. When you ask for something, you are indirectly asking for some protection against death. Give me this, give me that, so that I can live longer. Even physical comforts are indirectly connected to protecting ourselves from death and its fears. Milarepa says, this thing called corpse we dread so much is living with us here and now. When referring to the body, just expressing in a slightly different way, how close we are to death in actuality. And how can you not fear death when you're living with a corpse? What separates living from the death? A few breaths, same body, same environment, same sun shining, same air all around. But for whatever reason, you forget to breathe. For a few minutes, you are gone. Where are you far away from death? How can you cope with this fear of death? The only thing you can do is understand this fear of death, get to the bottom of it, Understand it so thoroughly that you transcend this fear of death altogether. And it is possible to transcend this fear of death because in actuality, death is an illusion. Death is a reality only to your mind. Death is real only as an idea. Death is only for the one who's watching from outside, not for the one who's dying. For the one who's dying, there are other things. There is suffering, there is pain, there's disconnection, fear. But the actual experience 
is impossible to happen. On the inside, life is a reality. Life is a continuity. On the outside, everything is death. Life is just the animator. Take out this animator, take out this force that is animating things, everything is dead. That's why the thing that separates living from the dead more than anything else is consciousness. You can find different exceptions, different cases where you can stretch the concept of death, but you cannot do anything with consciousness. There is no way to say that this thing is dead. Someone is dead, but they're still conscious. You can talk about death in all kinds of ways. You can be brain dead and still be alive. Although that should be an impossibility because in our understanding, brain controls everything. Brain is the seat of all activities. It is the seat of intelligence. It is the seat of awareness, seat of consciousness. Now, how can your brain be dead and still your heart be functioning? It's possible because your aliveness is not restricted in your brain. Consciousness is not created in the brain. Consciousness is not even a part of the body. But when consciousness separates itself, severs itself from the body, and there is no way for it to come back, for whatever reason, if the disconnection is absolute, that is what we refer to as death. Death is not death of a certain part in the body where aliveness resides. Death is when your body is unable to connect to the cosmic consciousness that is all around. Death is basically the death of the connection. That is why there are so many different ways of dying. And there are so many different ways of staying alive. You can lose your hands and still stay alive. You can lose your legs and you can still stay alive. Many things can happen to your body, but still you can be alive as long as the connection is there. That is why when there is a sudden impact, sudden blow that severs your consciousness, the chances of death is maximum. Anything that happens to the body gradually, because there is no sudden jolt, the disconnection doesn't happen. So with disease, you can live long. With all kinds of stress, anxiety, you can still live long. Complaining about life, worried about things, fearing about things, you can still live very long. But if you're taking a walk, suddenly if a big branch of a tree falls on your head, you're gone. Why? Because there is a sudden disconnection. The blow is so impactful that for a while, the body doesn't even know where it is. In some cases, the disconnection is long enough for it to altogether forget how to connect back to that realm that it belongs to. It just forgets how to connect. It's just like you can have perfectly functioning hands and legs. But if, a, if an injury has severed the internal connection, let's say an injury to your spinal cord, even with perfectly functioning body parts, you cannot use them. 
because you've simply forgotten how to use them. It takes a lot of time, slow training, retraining to re-establish that connection. And in certain cases, there is no possibility for relearning. Too much time has passed and you're dead. In other words, you fear death because you're living with a corpse. You have to keep it alive. If you do anything to leave it alone without your conscious intervention, it will just get back to its original state, which is a corpse. So everything you're doing is to keep this corpse from being the corpse. So literally, life is a struggle against your own body.